Hey, good morning. Today we are going to discuss spam filtering, how to manage your Yahoo email inbox. This is uh, part two of a series that we're putting together. Uh, my name is Kashif Mughal. We are bringing this to you from learningcomputer.com, which is one of our e-learning websites. So let's get going. So what are we going to cover today? Okay, let's face it. How many times have you heard the following? Cash, did you get my email from two weeks ago? Then, uh, Nope, I did not. Cash, did you check the spam or trash folders? Mm, nope, I didn't do that. Of course not. LOL. Wait, it went to trash. Yeah, looks like I got it two weeks ago. Cash, that's when I sent it. Sad cash. Damn, sorry about that. So this happens more often than, uh, you know, you expect it. You send an email to your client. They don't receive it. They're waiting for you. You're waiting for them. Time is ticking by. Nobody's getting younger. So you really need to control um, spam uh, in Yahoo or any of these email systems that you use and properly manage your emails. So we actually have another video. Part one was focused on Gmail. Uh, if you missed it, please check the link above. You should be able to get to that one. So let's dive into it. Uh, some uh, basic email lingo. I'm assuming you did not see the uh, other video. So email inbox is obviously where you get all your email messages, also known as incoming email. Spam is generally any bogus emails that typically come from an automated system. Okay. The examples could be those special meds that you need um, Possibly uh, car warranty emails, free travel, or my favorite cash just won $5 million. Thank you. Folders are essential email placeholders. So what does that mean? This really means that let's say you're getting um, an email that you, you know, don't want to look at it. You may want to come back to it later. Like for example, travel email. Okay. You're busy working. You don't have time to travel, but um, when the time comes, this email will end up in the folder and then you can look at them later. Now, email filters or rules are basically settings that you can define where Yahoo or Gmail or other systems, they will process your emails automatically. I mean, how cool is that? It's something you don't have to do. You can filter by sender, by subject using keywords, um, and there's other conditions you can do. We will um, we will show you, but let's just jump into the, um, this, by the way, this is our website. So check this out. We have a lot of tutorials here. Um, we blog on a regular basis and you can also buy some training, but I'm going to go to my Yahoo email. If you look on the top, you'll notice that I have 16,000, 69,000 emails waiting. So I'm a little bit behind. I will, uh, I'm, I'm working on this. Uh, so, you know, this Today's exercise will also actually help us. So here, here's a lot of emails that I'm getting, right? Um, and, uh, you know, what are we going to do? I mean, how are we going to tackle this, right? So, and if you go to the left, by the way, I just want to show you, I already have some folders. So if I click show, this is what Gmail calls them labels. And you can see that, you know, I already, I'm already filtering emails. Um, this is one I called it business. If I go to real estate, I'm already getting uh, lots of emails from my friends at realtor.com. Then we have uh, travel, um, some emails. So we're already doing that. We're just going to take it to the next level. Okay. We're really going to start to clean up this box. So instead of 69,000, I can have 49,000, right? How cool would that be? So what are we going to focus uh, today? Well, we are going to manually delete unwanted emails. Okay. We will use um, these emails from uh, Crew, which is actually a really nice uh, wine bar, but uh, I care not to see them, um, see the emails. Uh, so we will do that. Now, I, ha I do have a confession here. So the truth about my Yahoo email is I actually use it whenever I'm at a store shopping, which is all the time, or I'm meeting a new BFF who wants to gladly put me on their daily email distribution. So I'm going to show you this really nice feature called subscriptions in Yahoo email. That's going to help you tremendously control um, spam and unwanted emails. Next, we're going to go into settings and we will create a filter, like a, basically a custom filter, like I mentioned, to move emails from my favorite food places. 
We're also going to check our spam and trash folders in Yahoo, right? Why? Because sometimes valid emails, something that you do want, will end up there. So I have a couple of emails in here from Triathlon that ended up there. So I'm going to look for them and then any other necessary cleanup that we can do. So shall we dance? Let's do that. Before I before I jump into that, let me grab this um, email address because I am terrible at typing, as you know, from these videos. So again, I'm going to go back to my inbox, right? And a quick way to find out emails is up here where it says find messages, documents, photos. So I'm going to copy paste this, right? And when I do that, you'll notice that I'm getting a lot of emails. In fact, last week they sent me six emails. That's great. So I don't want to see this at all, right? So what can you do? You can simply click here, right? <clears throat> and you can hit delete right there. So that's the easiest thing you, you can do. You can also mark them spam. I don't want to do that really because it's a valid restaurant and I do go there occasionally. But here, and you can also move them. See this? You can you can collect here, you know, click here and move them. But for now, again, these are the 75 emails. So let me just show you one more time. I just clicked up here. I hit the search box. Okay. And when it happened, in fact, let me just uncheck it. Let me just do it one more time. So Put in the email address, click this one, you get all these emails, then you click here, little uh, checkbox, and then you're going to delete them, okay? It says, are you sure you want to delete these messages? Yes, I, I definitely want to do that. So, you know, those 75 emails are completely gone, right? In fact, it's going to keep bringing new ones because I've been getting these emails for a while. So, um, but let's go back to the next step. So, let me show you this cool thing about subscriptions, right? So... How do I get to this? Well, let's. Um, these are essentially emails that you may have, you did sign up for, and now they're sending you lots of stuff. So, how do I get this? If you, if I scroll down on the left side, you should see a thing called uh, views, and then when you go there, you can click on subscriptions right here. Okay. So it actually shows you these are the active subscriptions. I've already unsubscribed for, from some of them. So if I go into this, you'll notice that there's discount tire or something else. Look at this, Groupon, 57 emails weekly. Wow, somebody is uh, drinking a little too much coffee at Groupon. So maybe try water. You know, that could help. So I'm going to come in here and just look at things I can unsubscribe, right? So here you go. Here's one from WordStream that uh, actually tackles SEO. I don't really want to see these emails, so I'm just going to go ahead and unsubscribe to this. And it says, would you like to send an unsubscribe request to WordStream? Sure, go ahead. And then let's just scroll down. And in fact, what you can also do is you can sort these by alphabetical. So if I do this, and look at this. This is the one, two, three greeting cards. Again, you know, good. Um, good website, but I don't want that. So four emails weekly, I'm just going to unsubscribe that, okay? Same thing here, not only do they're doing that, they're even sending me stuff over here. That's one email weekly, I will just leave that as is. And then you can just go down. I mean, you can go down the list. I am signed up for a lot of things, as you can tell. Dish TV, I don't know why I'm getting so many Dish things. So let me just go ahead and I don't even have a Dish network. Maybe I did at some point. I've had this email for a long time, so I think that's part of the reason is that I'm just getting a lot. So that's that's the unsubscribe feature. I will, looks like I still need some work to do. So after I'm done with this video, I will come and do this. Let me go back. The next thing I want to show you is really how to, uh, let me take a look at the, all right, so we're going to look at the filtering in a minute. Uh, in fact, let's just do that. So spam filtering, right? Let's do that. What is What does this mean again? Um, we're going to show you how to create an email filter from scratch. I mean, the one I just showed you was just unsubscribing, but the next one I want to do is just create a filter for maybe a bogus email or let's say email you don't want, okay? You can create the filter to do that. So today we're going to use um, Zoe's example, uh, Zoe's kitchen. I'm just going to create a filter where these emails are going to completely go to trash and then we're going to talk about Twin Peaks. Well, let's go here again if i go back to my inbox right 
and I'm going to let me just search for this email first. <clears throat> now, a couple of ways you can create a filter. You can go to, you can click here to the actual email, right? And then you can you can come uh, come over here. In fact, you can click on these um, dots, and it says right here, filter messages like this. That's probably the easiest way to create a filter. So again, you find the email, you go up to the dots, and you're gonna say filter emails like this, okay? I'm going to, it says always move messages from no reply, blah, blah, blah. And where am I gonna send this to? You have different choices. I can even send them to other places, but for this particular one, I'm just simply going to trash it. Okay, and it, it actually gives you even more options. When I clicked on more options, it actually takes you to the filter screen, okay? So again, the filter name is uh, Zoe's Kitchen. This is, it's all the emails coming from this email address, okay? And you can also control other things like subject and whatnot. I'm not uh, doing that. It's coming to my email, which is boggle at yahoo.com. And then what am I going to do with this email? I'm actually going to select trash. Okay. So once I do that, now it says message filter has been created successfully. And if I go back to my inbox, let me just show you where. It should be down here on the left side. If you go below views, there should be, um, well, these particular emails, by the way, are going to end up in trash. So the other one is the one that I'm going to create uh, the filter for, okay? So so that's that's taken care of, but let me, let me go back to the other one. Now, if it's an email that, let's say you wanna hang on to, right? Order cash, then we will use a filter and move it to a, specific email folder so here here's an example you know emails from twin peaks restaurant you know sign that's something i may want to keep right how do i do that so again i'm going to copy this go back to my emails right go back to my inbox in fact this time instead of uh, looking for the these emails i'm going to show you how to create a filter from scratch so the way you do that is you come to the right side this thing that looks like a sun or gearhead or whatever it's the settings you click on that right and then you're going to go down to where it says more settings right in the middle it's a little hard to see and then when i go to more settings then i'm going to go left so they want you to go right left so they'll click on filters and then you're going to say add new filter right and i'm just going to say twin peaks for that one it's an email that is coming that contains, right? The email actually contains the word Twin Peaks, okay? Um, and then let me just clear, create the filter first and then I'll show you the actual emails. I kind of did this in reverse. So filter name Twin Peaks, it contains the word Twin Peaks, okay? I'm actually going to hang on to these emails and I'm going to go to this folder called Foodie Cash, okay? So the difference between Zoe's kitchen and this one is Zoe's went to trash, right? It's went to trash. We're all done with it. We're not going to see those. These instead are going to go into the folder called Foodie Cash. Okay. So when I hit save, again it says message filter has been created successfully. Back to inbox. And the emails I'm talking about here are the one from Twin Peaks. Right? So you can see that. You know they're they're not sending it that often maybe once a week but again these these emails going forward okay will end up in this folder called foodie cash in fact what i can even do now is i can select all of these emails right there's about 75 of them and then click on move right and where is it right here okay are you sure you want to move all these conversation Sure. Remember, I got 69,000 emails to go through, so I'll be doing this for five days. All right, so that's done. Let's go back to our, I, I forgot to mention these. these. There are a couple of links in here. This one is from Yahoo. The next one is from LifeWire. So if I show you, um, and by the way, um, we're going to put these links on, in the uh, video in the description. So check them out. Definitely, um, you can go check. You know, go look at this. This is not bad. It talks about filters in Yahoo Mail. 
And the second one is actually um, very similar article, LifeWire. The thing I like about this one is that it actually gives you, it talks about, uh, you know, Yahoo mail filters. What are the examples? You can se select a sender. You can select it from, you know, look at the subject. You can use keywords, okay? So check those out. And we already went through the demo. So we're kind of going in backwards. Uh, all right, so one of the last things I want to talk about is, you know, what about valid emails, right? We, we took care of spam, we could, took care of trash, we took off all this other stuff. There may be emails that you're getting that, you know, are valid. I mean, and this happens again. They end up in spam folder or they end up in the trash folder. I have an email that is from, I believe, USA Triathlon because I do triathlons because I don't have enough things going on in a given day. Um, so, you know, the steps we're going to take next is going to help make sure that valid and important emails end up in the right place. So, again, let me go back here to Yahoo and then I'm going to you're essentially what you're doing is you're looking for the spam folder right so on the left side you click on spam and you want to do this every other day or something and you scroll down I'm going to basically scroll down and look for triathlon on email so right there see this right here so this ended up in spam how do we how do we change that right i click on this email and one of the easiest things you can do is you can go up to the actual email address and you're going to select add to contact okay you can also you know mark it non-spam but this is probably an easiest thing to do so when you say add to contacts it's actually going to you know this is their first name you can see on the on the right side these are the emails that are coming from all of this, right? They're even adding some other information. And yeah, let's go ahead and save that. So what does that mean? Now you just added them, okay, to your contact list, right? And so this way, the Yahoo email filters, when they realize that, oh, wait a second, this person has, um, you know, is a contact. They're not going to send it to, they're not going to send it to the, uh, spam or trash folder same thing here you want to make sure that the trash folder is clean I'm just going to make sure there's nothing crazy in here that and you'll notice look at these uh, emails from crew right all these emails that we just did this earlier they are they ended up in the trash folder okay so that's a step in the right direction I think all of these emails actually look fine so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back here and you'll notice this little uh, trash bin icon. You're gonna click on this, right? It's gonna say, are you sure you wanna delete 98 emails? Let's do that. Let's... So, so I think that's, that's sort of like a wrap up. Um, you know, in order to bring it together, we showed you how to just delete emails from this particular sender. We showed you how to create a filter where you don't want them. You don't want the emails, you just trash them. If you wanna hang on to them, you put them in a valid folder, right? And then you also wanna check the spam and trash folder and make sure that the important emails are being tackled, okay? I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to our channel, visit our website again, or connect with us, uh, cash at learningcomputer.com. Again, the website, if I showed you, if it's not closed here, learningcomputer.com. We have a lot of free training and tutorials and blogs on relevant topics. So check those out and we will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.